Hi, my name is Mike Adamson, and I am the videographer and editor for Adam LZ, as well as the founder of Divine Media and all of the content and branding with that. So the way that I got into modifying cars was back in 2012-ish when I got into high school and I met my core group of friends back up north in Massachusetts that all had their first cars before I did and I quickly, quickly became attached to uh, hanging out with them, seeing what they were doing and just got sucked into wanting to be a part of this whole modifying car world. Um, and I bought my first car, which was my Del Sol, and just kind of went crazy with it. <laughs> my ultimate version of a daily driver or street cruiser would be kind of what I have now, but maybe a little watered down. Um, I have a Toyota Century right now that I daily drive, and it is the most comfortable, reliable, luxury sedan that I could find from Japan. Um, and that and Lexus LS400, Toyota Celsius, those are my all-time favorite daily drivers. Not the greatest on gas, but they're phenomenal to drive on the road. They're extremely reliable, and I've owned both of them and uh, love them both to death. My whole style and vibe for modifying cars kind of comes from the VIP scene of Japan. Um, I love cars extremely low. Uh, I love cars with proper fitting wheels. Um, I used to be a fan of Crazy Camber back in the day, but not so much anymore. Um, I like things simple and clean and tasteful. I don't like things super overdone. Um, most of the cars that I have built over the past few years have all been pretty simple when it comes down to it in terms of looks. Mainly just high-end, hard to find, body kits, extremely nice wheels, real wheels, um, making sure your paint is 100%, making sure your interior is nice. I've been a huge fan of the OEM Plus style lately, and that is actually the direction that I'm building my Supra, which is just now being finished. Uh, engine bay was completely redone, OEM style, uh, interior is going to stay OEM, exterior is going to stay OEM. I just want the car to look as stock as possible, but also put down 600 horsepower and have a ton of fun. So my biggest influence when I was first getting into cars for design-wise and stuff like that would have been my friend Johnny Stolman. And I don't know if anyone some of you might remember him, but he built the Rustola, and that was like a 98, 99 Toyota Corolla, and he removed the paint off the entire car, gave it that patinaed kind of look to it, but also made the car very clean looking as well. And it just, every time that I saw it, it was always just so different and so unique, and that's kind of where I got my beginning inspiration for my Del Sol back in the day uh, when I did all of the rusting process and stuff with that car. If I had to pick between extreme low or drift spec shock setup, I would probably pick extreme low just because that's the kind of style that I follow. Um, however, the Supra that I'm building is on BCBRs and I don't believe that they're extreme lows. They ride phenomenally. I've had to do very little adjustment to them and uh, it was definitely the best coilover decision for that car. So I got into the world of content creation probably back in 2010 when I had just started learning how to edit on my own. Uh, it started back in the day editing uh, video games and montages for teams and stuff like that. And it quickly transformed into making videos of cars once I got hooked into cars, um, which led me to start following my friends like Crispy, uh, Halcyon, Mike Koziel, uh, some of the top names out there in car cinematography. And following them and watching them and what they did kind of wanted me to start my journey into 
the whole cinematography side of stuff, and I just I latched onto it and got hooked ever since. So the best track event that I have shot at over the recent years, I would say probably has been the Mondello Park events in Ireland uh, for the LZ World Tours. Um, I have family in Europe. I've traveled to Europe a lot when I was a kid, and every single time that I go back uh, to Ireland, it's just the perfect vibe. It's It just brings back a lot of good memories, and the scenery and the location of the track and where we stay and everything, it's just an overall amazing vibe, and the people in Ireland are amazing, and everyone is so nice, so down to earth. Um, I would say my that that's probably my top my top one, and then my second would be um, a trip that I did with uh, Tommy and Chris Rudnick back in 2019 at the Nurburgring and racing uh, Evos and STIs around the track. That was probably just one bar under the Ireland event. It was just, again, same thing. European event, super fun, super vibey, drove all across Europe. It was, it was amazing. So I met Adam in 2017, I believe, and it was back when I lived up north and I used to go to Lock City Drift events at Thompson Motor Speedway all the time. And I, there was one going on that I just wanted to go and watch and film a quick video at. And he happened to be there, I had no idea. Um, and I shot a video for him just for fun, didn't ask for permission or anything. And, at the end of the day, I just sent it to him and he enjoyed it, shared it, and ever since we just kind of kept in touch and it grew into a great friendship which eventually led to all of this. In terms of trends in the car scene right now, I would say the three things that I don't like the most would be chrome tint, for one. Um, I think it's extremely outplayed and I have just never really been a fan of it since day one. Um, the second would be the uh, subway uh, handles hanging off of the back of every single car at a car show. Again, it's just kind of played out and redundant, but I think the most thing that I, the, the biggest thing that I don't like is takeovers and the just unsanctioned events taking over towns and stuff like that, Get people getting hurt, people getting pew-pewed at, it's, it's not a good thing. And uh, I just have, do not like it at all. In terms of people out there building some of the best stuff right now, I would say uh, TJ with his R34 that he just finished. I got to see that car in person in New Jersey and that car is beautiful, um, well done on that. Adam, obviously with his four rotor Supra, that car just sounds absolutely insane going around the track and it just never gets old. Um, obviously Tommy up north with all of his uh, Skyline restorations, I've seen a huge handful of those cars now and uh, they always turn out amazing. So I would say right now those are probably my top builders. If I had anything to say in terms of advice if you're trying to get into content creation would be to post frequently, be yourself. Um, you don't necessarily need to follow trends that are happening on the, you know, on YouTube or anywhere on social media. Um, I've found that being authentic and especially having, you know, a good group of friends around you and stuff uh, to kind of support you along the way is probably the, the main thing that helped me the most. Um, and in terms of if you're trying to get into the whole cinematography world of content creation, um, a lot of people kind of think you need the top tier equipment to start out. It's not true. I started out on a $200 camera, was able to use that time to learn what to do, how to do things, and had that camera for years before I changed. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't happen overnight. Growth, like growing in content creation is not easy and it takes years sometimes. So ultimately I would just say, have fun with it, enjoy it, be yourself, and just have a good time. <laughs>